Talk with Dr. Agnes is launching a new series on endocrine health. We will examine how stress, nutrition, water, exercise, sleep, medications, and emotional well-being can affect hormone balance. I am Dr. Agnes, a family medicine physician. Let's start with how medications can affect your hormones. Medications help us stay healthy and deal with illnesses. But did you know that some of them can affect your hormones? Hormones affect how we feel, how we grow, and burn calories, and sleep. Some medications can throw off this delicate balance, leading to several different side effects. Let's talk about how birth control, steroids, antidepressants, and hormone replacement therapy could impact your hormonal health. Let's start with hormonal contraceptives. Stay tuned. A lot of people use birth control pills, intrauterine device, implants and injections to stay away from getting pregnant. By changing hormone levels, um, these uh, medications stop the ovaries from releasing eggs or thicken um, cervical um, mucus. However, these changes could lead to uh, mood swings, um, weight gain or changes in sexual drive. Hormone levels um, stay stable when women use uh, contraceptives. Still, uh, some women have problems with their periods or other side effects during or after they discontinue um, contraceptives. If you are having um, any of these problems, you should see um, your doctor. My next video will discuss how steroid medication can affect your hormonal health. Stay tuned. Steroids such as prednisolone are used to manage um, chronic conditions, for example, asthma, autoimmune kidney conditions, inflammatory bowel conditions, and arthritis. Uh, steroids are like um, the stress hormone cortisol. They can help with inflammation, but taking them for a long time could lead to weight gain, mood swings, and weaker bones. They can also stop the body from making hormones, making you tired, and have to deal with um, worry. So doctors uh, may advise to take them only um, when needed unless advised to take them long term depending on your condition as advised um, by the specialist. The next video is about antidepressants. Stay tuned. Antidepressant, especially SSRIs, Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are used to treat depression and anxiety. These medications improve happiness by raising serotonin levels. Besides that, they can change hormones, especially hormones that control reproduction. Some people who take um, SSRIs may experience less sexual drive or changes in their periods. Symptoms, if at all present, may differ from person to person. So. If you have any concerns, talk to your doctor about other ways to deal with them. My next video is about uh, hormone replacement therapy. Stay tuned. Hormone replacement therapy, HRT, is often used for women going through menopause or perimenopause. Restoring hormone levels with HRT can help with hot flushes, mood swings, and vaginal dryness, and much more. However, it's worth noting that for some people, HRT could make them more likely to get blood clots, uh, breast cancer, and stroke. Hormone balancing with HRT needs to be closely monitored by a doctor to make sure that the benefits outweigh the risks. The next upcoming video is on exercise and healthy hormones. Stay tuned. If you found this information helpful, please like, share and follow to stay connected on our diverse social media platforms for more health tips and insights. You can contact me via my website talkwithagnes.com or email at talkwithdragnes at gmail.com for health promotion initiatives, speaking engagements or booking inquiries. I'm available for health talks, workshops and collaborations. Let's connect to inspire healthier living and empower communities. Until we meet again, keep striving to become a healthier version of yourself and I'll see you soon.